Hot. Hotter. Hottest. We're miles above the rest. The, the car can fly? Mm -hmm. That's false advertisement. Hey, welcome back to You Me the Movies. Tonight we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy Rockstar. Coming in hot. What are we watching? It's time for action. It's time for action, Jackson. Hooray! Starring the late Carl Weathers. Oh. Rest in peace. We're wearing some uh, Carl Weathers inspired shirts. I got my Chubbs Peterson Memorial Golf Tournament. I got a I got. random boxing shirt that... Could be. Yeah, it's for Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed. Could be. There's a little tiny Carl Weathers on this shirt. Oh, looky, right there. His little smile. His little his little trademark grin. Ah, uh, chubs. Yeah. But here's what Rockstar has to say about his pick. Tell me. As a new granddaddy. That's right. Wow, can't believe I'm finally a granddaddy. So excited and promised to suggest some epic films for reactions going forward. Much as I wanted to kick off with Masters of the Universe, we must first honor a great legendary actor, Carl Weathers, rest in peace, whom we recently just lost. And we're honoring him with a film many people never know about, but really showcased what could have been with him as a leading action star, like Arnold or Sly. Mm -hmm. We were always used to seeing him be the guy to put over the likes of Sly, Arnie, or Dolph. Action Jackson was his turn to be the man. Nice. Holy shit. Yeah. We wrote a novel. The idea was conceived by Carl and producer Joe Silver while on the set of Predator. We've got quite a cast of great familiar faces and stock action cronies from Die Hard, Predator, Commando, Goonies, and even Back to the Future. Try to see if you can point them out in Easter egg fashion. Some great stunt and fight choreography work as well. And Weathers really looks his best and buffest out of all his films and delights the audience with a bunch of so bad it's hilarious one-liners and in terms of endearment, tough love jabs. Ironically, this film was moderately successful at the box office and video rental sales in 1988, though the success of Die Hard pretty much overshadowed it, and it was a mystery as to why people seem to have forgotten about this gym, hence why it deserves a reaction. Love and prayers to Carl and his family. Thanks again, and I hope you guys enjoy the film, and your fans love the reaction. Wow, Rockstar, that was quite the explanation. Uh, happy to have you as a granddaddy. Yeah. First time. This is going to have to be a two-parter uh, reaction because of the intro so long. <laughs> we have to split it into two. Well, should we jump into action? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Action Jackson. Yeah, and if you want to be like Rockstar and get your own special request, you might be able to snag one of our special requests left at our Patreon link down Could below. Happen. You can also get early access, flint coming, access pulls up to pick up our tech. Link down there. Check it out. Let's watch Action Jackson. Did I say that right? Action, ac, action, you said action. Okay, okay, let's redo it. <laughs> no, it's fine. <not>, it's fine. <laughs> action Jackson. <laughs> action Jackson. I just talked a lot, okay? My tongue's tight. <laughs> action, action. I don't even know how you said it wrong. It was impressive, though. I mean, really unfortunate for it that it came out the same year that Die Hard did, right? Because yeah. everything was overshadowed by Die Hard. Also, this is the first time I watched for me. I've never seen this, so. Ooh, first time for both of us. Who's going to be on the cover this time? Both of us. Thumbnail. We will continue to improve with the months ahead. Yours truly, Frank. I know who it's from, Frank. We're, she's from lots of things in the 80s. Come on. Oh. Don't be in such a hurry to get home. You can't possibly have a better suggestion. So happens I do. This is kind of going to watch porn in the office with her. Uh, oh, what? You got something against violence? Wait, you dating Santa Claus? <laughs> Yowza. She just got smoked. He carries a gun with him? She's dead? Is she dead? She was laying there with her eyes open, looking dead. Is she getting attacked by ninjas? Nice. 
If your desk is moving, don't shoot the top of it. That doesn't make any sense. What's happening? <laughs> where's, this, where's this guy going? Are these ghosts? Kick and disappear. That last one looked like a blonde woman. Yeah, it was a... Whoa. Stigmated him. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, there's that blonde woman. It's actually a man. No, man. Just with an 80s mullet. Well, at least he doesn't have to take the elevator. Oh, that'll ruin your dinner. Yeah. What city are we in? Detroit, I imagine. It was a regular fuck around at my place last night. Biff! Hello? There ain't been any pussy at your pants since your mother helped you move in. They ought to call your place the House of Wax. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying he's a waxwork? Yeah, or he waxes cars for a living. Biff's car. Yeah, he does. Detailing him? He does. He does wax. Awesome. Just putting the second coat on now. <laughs> there he goes. You better call me wagon. Best to let it percolate a little. I'll give you my purse. Well, it'll do you the most good. <laughs> hey, man, what's going to happen to me? Oh, nothing. I might have to endure a little session with uh, Action Jackson. <laughs> Who's Action? Action, Albert. Action. That's He's exactly how I said it. Huh? That's the right way. <laughs> yeah, I remember one kid got re-educated so bad. His mm. testicles climbed back up into his belly, mm. wouldn't come out. Yeah. Another kid, handcuffed to a chair, gnawed his own hand off like a trap. <laughs> How much do you charge for a hand job? My partner has sprained his wrist. Maybe you'd like to try a foot job instead. Oh. And how much is that? For you, it's free. <laughs> Ooh. Walked right into that one. He's slippery. Uh oh. Mellow out. <laughs> he didn't do anything. This guy's building up his character, right? Jackson, I can't believe you and I stayed partners as long as we did. Somebody had to carry you. <laughs> there wasn't enough left of Stringer to perform an autopsy, and his secretary, Miss Mazzatori, seems to have died before the fire. No, Bill Duke's the captain. Corner didn't seem to think he was slipping her the old protein pickup. Ew. Ew, that's a gross way to say it. Yeah. Looks like your friend fainted again. What'd you do, threaten to wipe him out? No. I just showed him a picture of your girlfriend. <laughs> it could have been an opportune time for a yo mama joke. Yeah. Show him a picture of your mama. It was kind of like that. He said your girlfriend. Yeah. I need you to represent the department at the Detroit Businessmen League's Man of the Year fundraiser. I was scheduled to attend, but I had forgotten that this is my wife's our cheesy night. <laughs> Their man of the year is Peter Delaplane. Peter Delaplane is man of the year. Look, the man's son is a sexual psychopath. If I had family problems like that, I'd get myself neutered. Jack Captain, the man cost me my stripes. No, Jackson, you cost you your stripes, no one else. You could have handled Sean Delaplane more delicately. Yeah? I tore that boy's arm off. So, he had a spare. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I just need to be sure your Action Jackson days are far behind you. Then we can see about getting those lieutenant stripes back. He's probably going to start a fight. I'd expect nothing less. Ladies and gentlemen, our man of the year 
Mr. Peter Anthony Delaplay. Coach. Craig T. Nelson. Yep. You can hardly hear what he's saying back here. Oh, I know. It's the best seat in the house. <laughs> Patrice Delaplay. Patrice. I bet I can make you change your mind. Oh, Sharon Stone's his wife. Mm. What do you think of our man of the year? Oh, I think he's a greedy, conceited, two-faced, backstabbing asshole. <laughs> Jericho Jack. There's a nickname associated with it, isn't there? Uh, it's action. Well, of course. That rhymes. <laughs> How do you two know each other? Mm. Through my son. He was always a very popular boy. I'm sure he's very popular in his new home. I hear all it takes is the right opening. Ooh. <laughs> he's in prison, I take it? The right opening? <laughs> I thought he missed a, he was missing an arm. No, he almost took his arm off. He didn't actually take his arm off. A guy with no arms and legs that floats in the water. You two assholes, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's up his ass? Oh! <laughs> I have some tums if you need them. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> Who are these guys? Yeah. Good night. These guys are all like financial guys. Something like that. He said he was in security, right? Could be securities, but. It's attached to a bomb. And he armed it by opening it. Boy. One of those guys is from Little Big League. Hey, it's a pitcher. It. Too bad about the game, huh? Hey! Reload. Limo driver. Yeah, from uh, Die Hard. What's his name? Our guy. I'm your limo driver. Oh, not at all. I was merely extemporized. Uh -huh. Oh, and Clovis, please don't away too slowly because even though this car is my most prized possession it should be driven as fast as humanly possible at all times he's a good driver Hot. hotter hottest we're miles above the rest the car can fly mm -hmm. that's false advertisement Harbor officials report that the craft belongs to Lionel Grantham, an AWA official. Mm. Grantham is believed to have died in the explosion. So come to my apartment as soon as you can. Huh? This is a matter of life and death. Life and death. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Tony. You look strung out. Come on, come on, come on. I want to take you to the hospital. No. no. Oh, sit down. Now, you sit down and you're gonna listen. Oh, He's a little paranoid about something. Yeah. Is he in the Godfather? He's in Goonies. Goonies. That's not not quite the Godfather, but uh, it's an Italian crime family. Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like for Tellies. He's a little hint. hot. Hotter, hottest. Peter Delaplane. Is he ordering all these hits on other people? Could be. I thought it was going to be action was going to have to protect him from that those people, but maybe he's in control of them. I mean, she's pretty, but the voice could be better. It's probably the microphone. It does sound like one of those microphones you get in like a McDonald's Happy Meal or something, you know? The backup singer hits a higher note than her. Oh, 
Buy our new sound system. Sounds horrible. I expected a standing ovation. You're getting one. That means he has an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be leaving now, Miss Ash? Yes, she will, Ed. Would you like me to accompany you? No, thank you, Ed. This part I can do on my own. You remember who pays your salary, don't you? Yes, sir. You do, Mr. Delaplane. And most generously. But you hired him to take care of her, so... Oh, I know. What you're saying to me is Delaplane's killing off unfriendly AWA leaders, and you don't know why he's doing it. You don't have any evidence that he's doing it. Come on! Her name is Sydney Ash, and she works at this club. Joey's... The club elite. I'm not wasting your time, Jim, though. I promise you that I'm onto something. If you were married to Sharon Stone, would you need a mistress? You wouldn't think so, but, uh... I mean, I'm married to you, and I don't even need a mistress, so... Sharon Stone? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> you say I'm not in Sharon Stone's league? You're way above her. I, I mean, I'm clearly in a league all of my own, but... <laughs> But I can't even compete with Sharon Stone? I did one whole pull-up earlier. <laughs> and you witnessed it. I did. And you were and like, You were like, wow. I, I hurt myself. <laughs> oh, no. He knows Stone too much. He should have known better. He wasn't expecting a package. And you said that a man from Motown was going to come hear me sing. Mm-hmm. And you also said that I could cut a record. Give me two good reasons why I'd say all those things. Welcome well, back to you, me, and the boobies. What were they talking about? I don't know. Yeah. What'd I ever do without you, huh? Is he about to kill her? Sweet dreams, baby. Oh. Did he just kill her or just drug her? I think he just gave her some high-tech drugs. This should go well with your meal. His name was Tony Moretti. He worked for Frank Stringer. They both knew what you were planning for the AWA, and now they're both dead. Exactly what are you planning for the AWA? And Sergeant, this is Raymond Foss, president of the Auto Workers Alliance. I'm sure he would be delighted to hear exactly what it is I have planned. Too bad you couldn't find a more suitable luncheon companion. How do you know he was having lunch there? He practices karate for fun. That'd be kung fu. Don't come at me. I don't, I don't know the difference. Ooh, rude. Blessings over. Show him to his car. Yes, sir. He just uh, invited him over to kick his ass. <laughs> I need some karate lessons. And then just to show just, the guy that he's better than him. Yeah. Sauna seems like a nice idea. Trying to get a look at Sharon Stone's boobies. Just get side profile there. Just quick glimpses through the fog. She's got some nice stones. I need to talk to you. Honey, I got a meeting in 14 minutes. I'm on the phone to my Italian distributor. It's costing more than your time and broad, sweetheart. Meet that. Let's go, please. It'll just Sorry, take honey. a second, honey. It... it will be. That's rude. So. Sorry. Hi, I was just coming to see you. Are you going into town? Yeah, I'm if you are. Would you like a ride? I thought you'd never ask. Is she trying to get herself killed? By her own husband? No, it doesn't seem like he likes her anymore. I know how you feel about Peter Sargent. But you don't know him the way I do. I met him after his first wife died. I think the whole experience changed him. He's not the man you think you know. You think she's right? No. I think he's probably exactly the man he thinks he knows. Can you get me into your husband's party? I'll keep my marriage. Look, I got a fine figure on the dance floor. 
At least I would if your husband didn't have my legs broken. Why do they call you action? Ooh. That's why they call him action. He's just running after it. He's a track star. Come on, asshole! Oh, shit. He launched himself. <laughs> Wow. Captain is going to be pissed now. Enough is enough. Yeah, Ow. that's what I would have been afraid of. Shoot me. Don't shoot me. That's too easy. Be a man. Come and shoot me. I know you killed me. He's going to jump through the windshield. Oh, over it. All right. <laughs> Do a flip. Whoopsie. At least he's already at the auto body shop. Poof. All this damage and no perp. <laughs> There's a Ray Falls on the line for you. I'll take it to my office. It's the Martinizement dust. I don't think the captain's heard yet. <laughs> Nope, wasn't me. <laughs> I wasn't there. What the hell is Jackson? He's got a lead to follow. That's what she looks like. You fit in perfectly in the 80s. <laughs> Baby, me. Keep dancing like that, I'm gonna undress you. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I said stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Here's your 357, it's cleaned and ported. All right, well thank you, I'll test it in the morning, Carter. Has Madam arrived yet? No, I'm afraid not, sir. Well, you'll let me know. Hmm. She's right there. Peter, something's wrong. He was talking about that man, Moretti. The one Sergeant Jackson showed you the picture of. You must be mistaken. No, I'm sure of it. Peter, what's going on? Do you trust me? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't trust him at all, no. I just hope Sergeant Jackson will understand. You didn't tell Jackson any of this, did you? He came by right after I overheard the conversation. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love you. Well, how are you going to explain that death? Don't love her that much, do ya? More than life itself. Sea killer? That doesn't make any sense. Another weird suicide. She killed herself by shooting herself in the back. No. Yeah. Call it an accident. She fell on her gun. Works fine. They're just gonna leave the body there? I have. Well, she's gonna get a promotion here, huh? He got her addicted to a new drug of some kind. Didn't like it. May I help you? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Miss Ash. I don't recommend that course of action. I do. <laughs> How much do you weigh? 270 pounds. Well, that's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
He should be out for a while. You don't know Ed, honey. And you don't know me. You through for the evening? <laughs> I'm through singing. <laughs> you wouldn't by any chance be a diabetic. <laughs> Not the last time I checked. <laughs> and she's wasted. Give you a wet wet willy. Wet willy <laughs> time. <laughs> Gets wasted. Likes to give wet willies. <laughs> Sounds like somebody else I know. <laughs> uh, get over here. Stop it. <laughs> She's not good. To his house. Uh, are they gonna frame him with his wife? That's what I would do. I mean, like, if I were writing this story, that's... Oh, okay. Now where are we going? Your place. Now. Well, where is she? She's in the bedroom. Where's the bedroom? Jackson needs an alibi. He needs to give the singer some action. Make sure she's satisfied. I happen to be a very popular girl. <laughs> Sweet, I'm not kidding. Come on. This is kind of haunting now. Jericho, what's going on? They're sober up quickly. Wait, we gotta go back for my purse. We're not going back. We're going to a hotel. Um, they said that up quickly. Mm hmm. I didn't know there's a hotel around here. Yeah, well, neither does anyone else. For the time being, you can consider the Hotel Hoover your little home away from home. There! There's the hand that feeds you! Yabby dabby doo! <laughs> <laughs> In this century, Paradise Valley's produced two great fighters, Joe Lewis and Kit Sable. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Got a real fight fan there. <laughs> I need a room, one on a relatively unoccupied floor. She's got a sweet tooth. What does that mean, a sweet tooth? Maybe there's a vending machine on that floor. One more chance. Wanna fuck? No thanks. <laughs> He's a gentleman. He doesn't do that on the first date. No. Easy, kid. <laughs> when I get to Peter Delaplane, I figure you can help. What's Delaplane got to do with me? He's going to blow up your apartment. Can I do for you folks? How's it going? I'm looking for Papa Doc. Just wondering if he still works here. Well, just hold on a moment. I can lead you to him. Open it up. What is it? Some kind of secret passage or something? <laughs> Open it up. Just his head. Jar. It's Papa Doc. <laughs> it just balls. Gross. You went to the wrong bar. Wake up. Damn. He's an enchilada guy, yeah? Yeah. You dissing me? Don't diss me. I'm going to break it down to you. See, you be a Charlie Irvine. And we gonna tap dance on your lips. And then we gonna deprive you of your, your freaking frack. Yeah. Where is it? Let me try this one more time, very slow. And you watch the bouncing ball. Why'd you looking for Papa Doc? Where is he? <laughs> you ever heard the sound a man makes? When he gets his bones cut off, huh? <laughs> no. No! <laughs> it's probably not a good sound. I'm thinking a, a high pitch sound. Hey, what you doing with my brother? Ain't y'all a little old to be playing, doctor? You may not have noticed, but the boy ain't driving with a full tank. He's got this delusion he's some kind of holy messenger. Listen to him. Yes! Yes, I was sent! I was sent. <laughs> He's got a metal plate in his head. Somebody give me an amen. Uh, yes, I, I... This motherfucker's crazy, man. On you, yes! Oh, 
She had a clutch assist there. He could have just walked away, but. Mm. Hey, brother. Surely you won't leave before you give me an amen. 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 Did you think they're gonna just let us waltz out of there on the song and dance? I don't know. I'll... You just walked by the guy that flung him off that taxi cab, didn't he? Where have you been? I've been out looking for Papa Doc. I could have saved you time. The man is dead. <laughs> Dude, go down to the D Lux Barber Shop on the corner of Custom San Antoine. Ice for D. New source of info? And as a defense against kidnapping attempts, he formed an elite group of bodyguards, which he called the Invisible Men, due to their almost demonic ability to remain completely undetected. How does she know all this? <laughs> Were they also responsible for the AWA killings? Mm -hmm. Undeniably so. No. Motives are not my department, just the delivery of detail. A lot of talking at the, the salons Shit. or the barbershops. No kidding. She she knows the details. Thanks a lot. Oh. As I said, I can't oh. pay you, but uh... I'm always delighted to help a detective. You think she would be the first on the chopping block? <laughs> yeah, she knows everything. She knows too much. She knows D was way too much. We got to deal with her. Sydney. She's missing. Where's Sydney? She didn't go by me. Call herself Mr. Quick, room 303. Always one when you don't need one. She's with me, motherfucker! Oh, jeez. It's Billy. It's who? Billy from Predator. Warned you about the language. <laughs> he doesn't get high off his own supply, probably. Oh, launched him into the next building. Why are we running from the cops? You're a cop, aren't you? Of course I am. That's why we're taking this. Get in. <laughs> Recommend a good bath house if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dela killed his wife and planted the body in my apartment. The cops think I did it. Are you gonna help me or not? Why should I trust you? You wanted for murder. You dropped me off at a bus station. Well, sure, I'll drop you, and you wouldn't live long enough to enjoy that fix. Dela gonna kill you too. You're the last person seen with Action Jackson. You were married once, weren't you? Yeah. She divorced me two years ago. She felt my career was advancing in the wrong direction. Hey, Jackson, it's her loss. She's just gonna be looking for a fix, don't you think? She's gotta be distracted. Delaplane sent me. He says he wants to see you. He says it's about tomorrow night. Is it, uh... The old guy from Better Call Saul? The bald guy from Better Call Saul? The one that runs the... Mike? Yeah, Mike. No, no, Mike's in better shape than that. No. <laughs> where the hell do you want to meet me way out here anyway? He probably don't want you smelling up his house. All right, where the hell is he? Come on, come on, let's go. Up here. You're not teleplayed. He's gonna kill Foss! Why? So I can take his place! Why? So I can become president of the union! Who's gonna kill him? You are! Jackson! Oh no. I'm gonna force him to do the hit himself. Why do you want to kill Foss? 
Controlling the union's not gonna help your company that much. See, my real interest, Sergeant, is power. They helped elect a Georgia peanut farmer to the highest office. So you're saying we have President Delaplane to look forward to? He wants to get somebody elected so he can control them. Yeah. Mm. How do you figure you're gonna kill Foss and get away with it? Hmm? Good question. Mr. Gamble here will take care of that. And he will be dressed exactly like you at the time. To most of my guests, you all look alike anyway. Oh, jeez. What do you want from me? I want you to die. How's he get out of this? I don't know. Thaw, get the gasoline. We're gonna have us a little barbecue. Tell me where it hurts. Oh, jeez. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. About a paint job? The bodyguard has a change of heart. I was shocked he died that way. <laughs> Mullet man is gone. He could have said something like, need a light? <laughs> you looking for me? Barbecue, huh? How do you like your ribs? Well done. Oh, great transition there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank God the bodyguard found him at that bar. Mm -hmm. Followed her to the place. Mm -hmm. Please. Nice to wonderful. Thank you. Nobody's like worried about the fact that his wife just died. And... Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about your wife. Yeah, nobody's like, I'm so sorry to hear about your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please, your attention just for a moment. I want you to meet our birthday boy, Raymond Foss. Rob! Excuse me, sir. Hey! I am very happy to see so many old friends here tonight. To What did you land on? A gate? A fence? He got forked. Well, so much for that guy being the next president. Oh, yeah, he still got it. Hey, you're Kid Sable, aren't you? You better blame it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> His old partner. Driving into the house. Can he make it fly like in the commercials? Can those cars fly? You lose. Oh. Well built staircase. Christ. Christ. Big ass always. <laughs> you haven't learned your lesson. Teach me. Come on. Mano e mano. This is what he's been practicing for. He's gonna go Creed on his ass. Ooh. Ow. Now you pissed me off. You won't like him when he's angry. Yeah. 
Majored in karate for two semesters. Are you alright? Oh no, I've been shot. <laughs> With the paramedics and the meat wagon down here right away on the double. Yes, sir. I want a full report on my desk first thing in the morning. In the morning? In the morning. Lieutenant. Nice. Lieutenant? Was it an echo around here or something? <laughs> <laughs> Team up with a junkie. How about an ex-junkie, huh? Wait a minute, you kidding? Cold turkey. You can have me on Thanksgiving. How's that? Can I have you any soon? I prefer my turkey warm on Thanksgiving. Yeah, you want cold turkey day two. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Now he's really getting some action. Yeah, because she's not a junkie anymore. It's been 24 hours. Maybe 48. <laughs> she's not a junkie anymore 24 hours later. Maybe, maybe, she may have been made at uh, 72. Uh, doesn't yeah. look like it. They were in that hotel for a while when they were at her house the night before that. She was high that night. Yeah, all right. Maybe it's one of those quick in, quick out, your system kind of drugs. Heroin, yeah. just. It looked like it was expensive stuff, though, in that special little case. Yeah. Little vials. All right. All right, well, Action Jackson. Action Jackson. What do you think? I liked it. It was yeah. good. Good old action flick. I love Carl Weathers. Yeah. It's good. It's just a fun, fun dude. For sure. Rest in peace, dude. Lots of uh, familiar faces in that for sure, though. Mm -hmm. Even the uh, the front desk operator at Nakatomi Plaza for the bad guys was there at the uh, yeah <laughs> the torch, right? So, yep, the lots of launcher. lots of diehard faces in this movie too. It came out in the same year. It's yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. I liked how uh, he kind of built this team at the end of all the. Other guys he kept running yeah. into, like the the, the purse snatcher. Yep. He's like, I need you to help me, and then well, the purse snatcher happened to work at the hotel that his buddy. Yeah, <laughs> and then I think the bodyguard mm -hmm. side with him. I think that was the best uh, do sex machina you know, of saving the day there at the. Yeah, I think the the, the bodyguard truly wanted to protect her. Yeah, he and was he just realized that guy. Carl Weathers yeah. was yeah that Action Jackson was actually trying to protect her too. So he's yeah. like. Yeah. Well, he was probably standing up there for a while listening to, you know, I'm the sure. guy spiel his whole plan and his dastardly deeds and stuff. He's yeah. like, shit, this is a guy that's been paying me this whole that's time? Right. No. The Invisible Men. Yeah. Well, that's how Dean knew all about them. Where they came from, like, <laughs> Italian hitmen that were trained. Yeah. They all have their own name, too. Like, I mean, the credits there. Gamble, Thaw, Shaker, Marlin, and Birch. Mm-hmm. Interesting. They kind of died really easily, though, there at the, the plant. Yeah. And there were these badasses in the first two seasons. Turns out if like, you can see them, they're easy to kill. Kick, disappear. They're only hard to kill if you can't see them. Yeah. They always did that at night, though. Maybe they're nighttime guys. Yeah, right? definitely not daytime. They, they don't fight well in the daytime. No. Without no. daylight. So. Not for them. Yeah. I was hoping that a car was going to fly. I thought that was probably where it was going to, yeah, but, but no flying. Surprised it made it down those hallways, though. It's a very compact car. Yeah. Right. Very wide hallways. Yeah, that too. Yeah. What should people comment on after Action Jackson? I mean, uh, do you like this one? Yeah. Where's this rank in your 80s action epics? Where does it rank in your 1988 action? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was a big year for action. You got Predator, Die Hard, Action Jackson. I think uh, um, Sly, like a Cobra or a Rambo came out this year, too. Oh, so, really? Yeah. yeah. Lots so, of action movies. Yeah. It was the, the hot thing in the late 80s. It's just muscles and guns. My favorite part of this movie was the character... Punch sound effect. Every punch was just cartoony, huh? Yeah, just thud and a whack at the same time. Nice. Right. Yeah. It was fun. Well, thank you to Rockstar for selecting this movie. Yeah. Happy to have you as a granddaddy. Absolutely. And rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Absolutely. He will be missed.
Thank you for hanging out with us. Come back next week for something else. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want to be like Rockstar and get your own special request. Or you also get early access, fully coming access to polls up to pick up our next. Another check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.